beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is Ajun Alaren and I am a fourth year medical student studying at the University of the West Indies if you are new to my channel welcome thank you so much for clicking on this video I really appreciate it and I hope that by the end of this video I can convince you to hit that subscribe button so that you can become a part of my small but growing family here on YouTube so if you're new here you may not know that recently Recently, I made a few videos on what being rejected from medical school was like for me and then in part two of that video I shared some tips and tricks on what I think would really help you during that rejection season and what you could do if you were indeed rejected from medical school now I think it's only fitting that I make a video on what to do once you get in more specifically how do you actually pay your medical school tuition when you get into med school because you will get into med school trust me so this video is really important to me because i do get this question a lot and this is not a dumb question this is not something that i'm ever gonna get tired of answering because this was a big concern of mine once i got into med school actually way before i even got in when i started the application process i wondered how much is this gonna cost me is my family gonna be able to support me during medical school paying for medical school is a really legitimate concern because medical school tuition is notoriously astronomical not being able to afford a particular med school or med school on the whole actually discourages a lot of people from even applying and I know parents that actually discourage their kids from pursuing medicine as a career option because they're under the impression that they won't be able to afford it so in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I pay my medical school tuition more specifically how I go to medical school for cheap and how I'm gonna graduate virtually debt-free yep so without further ado let's get started So first, we're gonna discuss what the actual tuition is for MBBS students or medical students at the University of the West Indies. So if you didn't know, there are three UE campuses. There's UE Mona, which is the campus in Kingston, Jamaica that I started at. There is UE Cave Hill in Barbados, and then there is UE St. Augustine in Trinidad and Tobago. Now at each UE campus, tuition is different. In the description box, I will be linking the two tuition and fee booklet for each specific campus so that you can see what tuition fees are like at the different campuses. Now follow me. At each campus, your tuition is going to be based on whether you are a sponsored student from a contributing country, a non-sponsored student of a contributing country, or if you're not a member of a contributing country at all. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to be focusing on the tuition specifically at UE Mona since that's a campus I'm a part of and that's the process that I'm most familiar with. But like I said, all the information for each campus's tuition is going to be linked down in the description box so you can look into that for your own convenience. So what does it mean to be a sponsored student? Being a sponsored student basically means that you have some sort of agreement with your country with regards to paying your tuition. I also mentioned contributing countries. What does it mean to be a member of a contributing country or which countries are considered contributing countries? So those countries include Barbados, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, of course. Those are the countries in which UE campuses are located. Then to add, there's Angola, Antigua, and Barbuda, the Bahamas, Belize, British Virgin Islands, Cuba, I am both a sponsored student as well as a member of a contributing country. So if you would take a look at the UE Mona's tuition and fee booklet, you would see that as a sponsored student of a contributing country, my tuition ends up being about $5,000 per year. It cuts your tuition by so much being a sponsored student from a contributing country. Now, if I were at the Cave Hill or Trinidad campuses, my tuition would be a little bit different. But generally speaking, the rule of thumb is that the Bahamian government sponsors their medical students according to the following rule. If you are a Bahamian student studying 
studying medicine at the UE Mona, your tuition is gonna be covered by 80, 80%. And if you are at the Cave Hill or Trinidad campuses, your tuition is gonna be covered by 60%. So how do you even become a sponsored student? So in the Bahamas, the process of being sponsored by the government for your UE Med School tuition is called being subsidized and the scholarship itself is called the UE Tuition Subvention. Now, back when I first applied, becoming a sponsored student was automatic. All I did was apply and be accepted by UE Mona and then I was added to a list. Back in the day this list used to be managed by a Miss Lisa Adderley in the Scholarship and Loans Division of the Ministry of Education but now all of that has changed and I am learning through my very recent research that the process is a little bit different. In the past the way it was automatic for me. For you guys applying now you guys would actually have to register on the scholarship and loan division of the Ministry of Education's website to become added to the list. And I took a look at the registration form and it's pretty short and straightforward. And I'm gonna link that down below as well, but it's short, it's basically like filling out a Google form. What I will also add in the description box is the link to the page that houses that registration form. And that page has all the information you will need with regards to the UE tuition subvention from the Bahamas government. On that page, you'll also find the name, photograph, and email address of a Miss Lisa Hepburn who is now in charge of the UE tuition subvention. So you can contact her directly, which is really nice if you need more information on the UE tuition subvention and the process. So what's the catch? I think this is the most important part of this video because you don't get money for nothing nowadays. <laughs> so what is the catch? What happens to you once you accept this money for from the Bahamian government. Once you accept this money from the Bahamian government, once you register to be sponsored and the Bahamian government is paying either 80 or 60% of your tuition, you are required to not only accept but sign on to a bonding contract with the Bahamas government. So this contract basically states that you are required to serve out a bond period of X amount of years following graduation. I say X amount of years because I feel like the bond agreement is subject to change or liable to change any given graduating year. So for my year group, my bond agreement basically stated that for every year that the Bahamas government paid my tuition, I owe them half of a year in service at the Princess Margaret Hospital. So since they would be paying for five years for me to attend UE, I would have to give them two and a half years of service at PMH. Like I said, each contract may be different depending on your year group, so be sure to ask lots of questions and read through your contract carefully and even ask for a copy of your contract. I really hope this video helped you out. Be sure to like it and comment down below if it has and be sure to share this video with anyone else who you know may benefit from this information. And if you watched this far, then you know that must mean you really like me. So be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every single time I post a video. Thanks so much for watching guys and I hope to see you next time. Bye!